I have one more update for you now on a new politician whose name you probably haven't thought of for years, Ilian Gonzalez. The now 29-year-old was just elected to office in his native Cuba, and he says he wants to use his new position to improve relations between the United States and Cuba. Gonzalez was just sworn into the National Assembly this week, and if you don't know who Ilian Gonzalez is or you just need a refresher, he was just six years old when he was rescued, floating on an inner tube off the coast of South Florida on Thanksgiving Day 1999. His mother and several other Cubans died trying to get to the United States. The situation surrounding Gonzalez sparked a diplomatic crisis, with his Miami relatives trying to keep custody of him, while the Cuban government said he belonged with his father, who was back in Cuba. The U.S. government eventually agreed, and the six-month-long saga came to a head in April of 2000, with armed federal agents raiding his relatives' Miami home to extract Elian Gonzalez and return him to Cuba. This Pulitzer Prize-winning photo of that raid made newspaper and magazine covers around the world. That's what viral was before social media, kids. Uh, and it came to symbolize the strained relationship between the two countries, as well as a new era for the politics of many Cuban Americans. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.